Hello kids, welcome to the math class. So today we are going to discuss about some new topics. In our daily life, we see many things and we recognize them as some are big, some are small, some tall, some short, some are happy, some are light, like this. So let us discuss about these topics. So let's see some examples. See, when we have two objects of different sizes, then we can say that one is bigger and the other is smaller. Similarly, when we compare with more than two objects, then we will say one is biggest and another is smallest. Now look at this sheet. I have one watermelon and one mango. So which one is bigger? The watermelon is bigger, yes, and the mango is smaller. So we have to take the bigger and cross the smaller object. So which one will take? Yes, watermelon and we'll cross the mango. See, similarly I have here three birds, sparrow, parrot and peacock. So you can see which one is smallest and which one is biggest. Yes, the peacock is the biggest. So we have to give a tick and the sparrow is smallest here. So we have to keep cross when we have two objects of different height then we can say that one is taller and the other one is shorter but when we add some other objects then we will say that one is tallest and the other one is shortest now look at this worksheet here one man is there and one boy is there so you can see who is taller the man is taller and the boy is shorter we have to keep take the taller and we have to cross the shorter one and the next is we have to give the tallest and we have to cross the shortest one so here three trees are there so this tree is the tallest we have to give a tick and this plant is shortest so we have to give a cross have you ever thought why some objects can be easily lifted while some can't well this is because of different weights of the different objects some are heavy while some are light so when we compare this all we have to say this one heavier and this one lighter and when we have to compare with more than two objects then what we'll say we'll say that one is heaviest and the another one is lightest now all of you look at this worksheet here we have to take the heavier and cross the lighter. So I have one mobile and one television. So the mobile is lighter than the television. And the television is heavier than the mobile. So we have to give tick here and we have to give cross here. Similarly here we have to take the heaviest and cross the lightest. Here I have one balloon. Balloon one ball and one aeroplane so aeroplane is the heaviest object and the balloon is the lightest object so children you make worksheets like this one page two pages and this three pages and in the book you take out page number sixteen you have to take the bigger 
cross the smaller this page number 17 take the biggest cross the smallest page number 18 take the taller cross the shorter page number 19 take the heavier cross the lighter page number 20 take the tallest cross the shortest and in page number 21 take the heaviest and cross the lightest one so all of you practice this all at home and bye bye till the next class thank you